For weeks I did just that. At first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally I could command them. So in three steps the instructor he made a swimmer out of Douglas. First he gave him practice to move back and forth in the water. This he did with the help of a rope. Second exercise was inhale and exhale and third exercise is kicking the water with the legs and he gave Douglas intensive practice of all these exercises. Thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole. In April he said now you can swim, dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke. So Douglas started with his training in the month of October and it finished in the month of April. In April the instructor said now you can swim, dive off and swim the length of the pool, go for crawl stroke. I did. The instructor was finished but I was not finished. Now what does this phrase mean? The instructor was finished but I was not finished. The task of the instructor was over. But Douglas, he says, I still was not finished. There still was fear in my mind somewhere. I still wondered if I would be terror stricken when I was alone in the pool. And I tried it. I swam the length up and down. Tiny vestiges, tiny remains of the old terror, they would return. But now I could frown and say to the terror, trying to scare me, eh, hey, well, here is to you. Look. And off I would go for another length of the pool. This went on until July. But I was still not satisfied. I was not sure that all the terror had left. So I went to Lake Wentworth in New Hampshire. I dived off a dock at Triggs Island and swam two miles across the lake to Stamp Act Island. I swam the crawl, breaststroke, side stroke and the breaststroke and a backstroke. Only once did the tarot return, when I was in the middle of the lake. I put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water. The old sensation, it returned in miniature. So once again, the old sensation of dying, it came back. This time I laughed and said, well Mr. Tarot, what do you think you can do to me? The tarot, it fled and I swam on. Yet I had residual doubts, yet I had remaining doubts. At my first opportunity, I hurried west, went up to the Titan to Conrad Meadows, up the Conrad Creek Trail to Mead Glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning, I stripped, I removed my clothes, I dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as Doc Corpon used to do. And this time I shouted with joy and Gilbert Peak, it returned the echo. Finally, I had conquered my fear of water. My fear of water was completely gone. Now the experience, it had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. So what did the experience it teach me? I learned that in death there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. So the larger meaning, the deeper meaning that Douglas he got from his misadventure was that in death there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. When death comes, there is no fear in it. There is fear in the fear of death. Death itself has no fear. Because I had experienced both. Both, that is one, the sensation of dying. And two, the terror that the fear of death can produce. That's why the will to live somehow, it grew in intensity. So Douglas says that he had experienced both. Both is the sensation of dying and the terror that the fear of death can produce. So the will to live, the will to survive, it grew in intensity. And at last I felt 
released. I was free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. So finally, with my strong determination, I was able to overcome my fear of water. Thank you.